Warning, you have obtained access to the personal logs of Tarot. Oh. Okay, so we have a lot more information together. Personal log of Tarot. Start 848. Voyage through the wormhole was exhilarating. I should poem about it when I had Carlos too. Cardassian, my crew. To one my Cardassian diligently and mastering yet another language. Decision. Her warp capabilities. Probability already picked. Warp signals. I grew very excited. Nothing is as invigorating as first contact. Rest my belief that the birds these have been first contact. Too strict. She fell under acceptable guidelines. Content irretrievable. Discovered the most delicious poem. Jika. Read this epic in its original Klingon, as opposed to the abysmal translate. Companies the Klingon text. Brought a great credit inherent in all artistic translations. Read the Scythians pointed that I was not. Jason's got farther. I was beginning to deep timidity. Cautious reticence to consider contact a failure. I am no friend to personal failure and would not like to open relations at this late stage in my life. After several so called talks with this so called confederation of species, I begin to miss the quiet reserve of the Scythians. We talk and talk, but they have yet to deliver these supposedly valuable devices. I'm an errand boy, ambassador of interplanetary repute. This device of this. Don't. Unbelievable! Deliver seven such devices in my hands. They keep it. If these two will function as from it, some trick, be the scientific edge, so has even out our military and back, but ah, this of the minions own make, learn of dominion science and jewels. Content irretrievable. Seem to... Light refraction technology more sophisticated than the barriers of the field and the wrong astrogatic. Never the Confederation told refraction mantles. No, they are in my possession. Used vice to slip. High security zone on Koros 2. I'm not for certain the code pay for me. I must get the right hands. I'm sure that Captain Sis the device is safe. Deep space run with transients and mercenaries. Just the solution attempt. Personal but for that young man involved in the Camerist incident. I don't has suspicions with a non Tyrian and and it seems skills I need. And within hours of deep devices are well hit. Concerned that others know where I have Bannock is not yet back into my quarters and wait. Self at risk, at least with that is I have in this deep. I'm scanning the devices. This is do indeed create a refract. The wearer. It may be. Okay. I believe we're done here.
Bannock! You managed to access Carrick's logs. Congratulations. Dax to Cisco. Go ahead, Lieutenant. All logs are open, Captain. Bannock cracked both ciphers. Well done. My compliments to the Ambassador. Dax, the Major and I have been discussing... I'm advocating a preemptive strike on the drones. Strike? When? As soon as possible. Right now. The Major feels that we should attack the drones now before their numbers become unmanageable. Is the Ambassador there? Bannock here, Captain. A report, please, Ambassador, on your progress with the Scythians. I'd say it's limited. I feel that it went good, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Limited success only, Captain. But I've found something in Ambassador Carrick's logs that might help. He said that the Scythians value individual words and economy of language. I'm going to try that approach. Try not to overwhelm them with words. Economy of language. Let's hope that helps. What have you learned so far? One of them mentioned Citadel. It's a place. I don't know where. Go on. One Scythian indicated he'd like to show Citadel to us. It's clear you need to talk again with the Scythians and learn more. Perhaps what's left of Ambassador Carrick's logs will be of help. Cisco to Yaro. Yaro here, Captain. Ensign, are the Scythians available for negotiations? Ambassador Bannock. Negative, sir. That is, they're not in the airlock. Captain, we have a, a malfunctioning airlock door here. What do you mean? The approach door, sir. It uh, keeps opening and closing by itself. Report it to engineering, Ensign. And if the Scythians show themselves, alert the ambassador immediately. Yes, sir. Yarrow out. Benjamin, Bannock hasn't had a chance to... Captain, the drones! We need to act! That's enough! Major... You want to calmly tell Bannock and Dax your proposed plan of action? Yes, sir. Look, look, the drones come here one at a time. When they're all here, they'll all attack. Why wait for that? Let's take the runabout, clean up the drones around the station, then follow the drones back to their source, destroying them one by one. You understand what she's proposing, Ambassador? I kind of think I missed a trick with the. I was hope. Well, I was actually hoping that we could use more options, because there was an option there saying about the Scythians saying to destroy the drones, but I seem to have missed that bit. Yes, I understand. Dax, I take it you don't agree with Major Kira's plan. No, we'll win the battle but lose the war. These second wave drones are phaser resistant. To defeat them, we'll have to use the photon torpedoes. Once we do, we'll see a new, deadlier drone appear. It's this third wave of drones that we must fear. And the sooner we attack any drone, the sooner this final wave will be upon us. If it arrives before the Defiant returns, we'll be out of surprises. Vanek, you've heard the arguments. Your advice, please. You say the new drones are phaser-resistant? How do you know? Sensors indicate it. A lot more duranium in their hulls. Clearly faster, tougher, more capable machines. What do you think of Kira's idea? To follow the drones back to their source? The drones come from somewhere beyond runabout range. I'm positive of that. We need the Defiant. There is a deep space capable ship here at the station. The Scythian ship. Unfortunately for us, it belongs to someone else. And it's weaponless. Lieutenant, you say the drones learn about our weapons and then send new drones resistant to them. What if we stop them from getting the message? Stop the courier drone, you mean? Exactly. Now that's an idea. Break their reinforcement chain. I think the Ambassador has uncovered a new course of action. No runabout mission at this time. We continue preparations for the drone attack. Dax, see if you can create a simulated mission against the drones. Get it loaded into one of Quark's hollow suites. Yes, sir. Major. When Dax alerts you that the drone buildup is complete, you will take the Hudson. This time, we'll make sure no courier drone escapes through the wormhole. Yes, Captain. Bannock, our best chance of survival depends on better understanding our enemy and our potential friends. Please consider your negotiations with the Scythians as a matter of the highest importance. 
I understand. Good. Cisco out. Well, Bannock, despite your protestations, I see you have some diplomatic skills after all. Diplomatic skills? What do you mean? You found the middle way, Bannock. The one course we could all agree on. Anything else, Ambassador? Jedzia, Kerrig's logs. There's a lot of static. Bannock, if you saw what Madame Chlorinai does to equipment, almost everything has been corroded away. I was wondering if you could help me listen to the logs, maybe decipher some of the trickier parts. All right. Which ones in particular? Some of the logs mention devices of some sort. Something valuable. Valuable enough to kill for? That's what I wondered, too. There's one here called Clarity. Something about a breakthrough with the Scythians. Sounds like exactly what you need. Let's hear it. Eureka! I believe I have the root cause of the Scythians' reticence. It is not fear of contact at all. Clarity of communication. Dear to them, they value individual. Context is our overly verbose. Overwhelm them. Economy. Minimal combinations. I now look forward to contact when I will be into use. Our overly verbose something or other overwhelm them. I think he's saying we use too many words. Clarity. E economy. Try that next time you talk to the Scythians. Talk like they do. One word. The right word. In one of his personal logs, he talks about something called refraction mantles. Refraction mantle. Did he explain what it was? He also talked about getting a hold of seven very valuable devices. If those devices were the refraction mantles... I think you better tell Odo about this. It sounds like you may have uncovered a motive for murder. He tucked some tricorder scan data into his personal logs. Hmm. I'm going to download these scans into the station computer, Bannock. Maybe it can make some sense of all of this. That's all for now, Lieutenant. Thanks. I think we're done here. I'm not a massive fan of the limited dialogue in places, but it is what it is. I guess in right now we should go and speak to the Scythians again. And they've gone. I wonder they, where they disappeared to. They weren't there at the start. And there was one talking to Quark on the communicator. Hmm. Oh, hello? Envoy. I, I mean, Ambassador. We're still having a little... Carl Nakira. Major, I've got the primary shaft couplings realigned now. You want to try it again? Affirmative. Where can I take you, Ambassador? The lower promenade, please. Computer, maintenance override 771. Promenade, level 7, section 5. Damn! Kira to Carlton. It's still failing in section 12. I see it. Hang on. I'm sorry, Ambassador. <laughs> this should only take a minute. It's these old Cardassian systems. Once they're down, you have to drag them, kicking and screaming, back online. <sighs> Has there been any word? Seemed like a very awkward start to this. On the drones, you mean? Of course! Lieutenant Dax is studying their patterns. <sighs> Meanwhile, every hour, more of them are gathering around the station. The last time an attacking force assembled this close to Bajor, it was the Cardassians. And they stayed with us for 60 years. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's just... Well, there are gunships piling up outside, and I'm stuck here repairing a turbo lift. Carlton, what's going on down there? It's a support relay on 11, Major. Looks like it was fused to the casing. I'll need the particle torch. 
Well, we don't have the particle torch. No one has the particle torch. You'll have to use a hand phaser. All right. This'll take a minute. Is this the same torch you asked Mr. Odo about? What damnedest thing. It just disappeared. If it was smaller, I'd think a vol dragged it off. <sighs> O'Brien's gonna be furious if we don't find that thing before he gets back. Who's O'Brien? He's our chief of engineering. He's kind of precise about his tools. What's a vol? Cardassian rodents. Disgusting, hairy little vermin. The station's infested with them. Surprised you haven't seen one. Could someone have stolen it? I was facing the only exit. I'd have been staring right at them. Like, it's just... There have been a lot of odd incidents lately. Do you think it's because of the rising? What did you say? It's something the Vedic Rasmus told me about. Rasmus? She's... She's a very devoted student of the prophecies. Let's see. A cloud about the temple gates darkens rising night. Unbelievers tremble at the harbinger's cleansing might. And there we have it. The title. A children's rhyme? Is it a cradle song, like the laughing Vulcan and his dog? No. It's part of our sacred texts. Your religious beliefs? Yes. Our faith in the prophets is part of what kept Bajor whole while the Cardassians tried to tear us apart. The prophets use the sacred texts to instruct us and to warn us of the threats the future can hold. Carlton Kira. <sighs> Kira here. Go ahead. Sorry about the delay, Major, but melted duranium is harder than a... Than a Cardassian's heart, I know. Ready for another try? Yes, sir. Resetting the command buffer. Go ahead. Keep your fingers crossed, Ambassador. Computer, maintenance override 771. Promenade, level 7, section 5. Good luck, Ambassador. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, it's good that the turbo lift is now working down towards the docking area, the habitat ring, sorry. But that's not exactly where we need to be right now. Okay, something is definitely going on right now. That's right, we see pleasure. Okay. The Federation doesn't take kindly to the murder of one of its ambassadors. Odo is definitely in here somewhere. I told you he didn't murder anybody. He was already... Never mind. Priet, are you through yet? Oh. What's going on here? The Tyrion! I think we've found our killers. I think you might want to consider very carefully where you aim that phaser. I'm not afraid to kill you, shapeshifter, or your friend. Ah, it seems your anti-terrorist training has been useful once again. Lucky thing for both of us. Odo to Cisco. Cisco here. What the hell's going on down there? It seems two of our Lycosian guests became unhappy with our hospitality, Captain. Ambassador Bannock and I were just persuading them to remain. I see. Any connection to the murder? I intend to find out. Can you arrange to transport us to the brig? My pleasure, Constable. On your signal, Cisco out. You're welcome. 
I guess we've paid him back for helping, helping us out. What were they trying to do? When I walked in? Steal a runabout. They tripped my security alarm when they started tampering with the airlock door. They were going to fly a runabout into that storm? A trip through a high-intensity disruption must have looked more attractive than the station brig. Are you planning to interrogate them? Oh, yes. It's one of the more rewarding parts of my job. Well, I guess that solves our murder case. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Too many loose ends. Like what? Well, for one thing, Carrick's case. If I wanted something so badly that I'd go to all the trouble of killing a Federation official for it, I wouldn't leave it behind in my escape. It'd help to know what it was that he was carrying. Were you able to uncover anything? Bits. Something interesting turned up when I went through his logs. He brought back some highly classified devices from the Gamma Quadrant. Whatever they were, he thought they jeopardized his safety. He may have been right. I wonder what our Lycosian friends will have to say about these highly classified devices. Once the scan results come in, I'll run a cross-check on their DNA. If one of them is the murderer, I'll get some answers. Until then, our other suspects are still... suspects. That's true. At least until the DNA scans clear them. Have you learned anything new? I think that the Scythians is more of a priority at the moment. I told the Scythians about Carrick's murder. How did they react? They're pretty difficult to read. Hmm. Any other leads? I met the Bajoran Vedic on the promenade. Yes, I interviewed her earlier. She's up on the promenade again now, performing the Bajoran death chant. I don't think it's connected to Carrick. Maybe I should return to speak to her at some point. Death chant? But it's not for Carrick? I don't think so. The names she was praying over were Bajoran. You've heard it before? During the occupation, yes. There were a lot of deaths here then. Mostly Bajoran. The Cardassians started to ban the chants as part of a demoralization program. But the Vedics were persistent. They made an arrangement with the body disposal unit, exchanging food, even clothing, for the names of the Bajoran dead. To pray over? Quite a risk. Do their prophets demand this ritual? I don't pretend to understand Bajoran theology, Ambassador, but I understand grief. It comforted them. Those days they took their comfort where they could. I'll contact you as soon as the scans come in. We may be charging these two with more than just attempted murder of a Federation diplomat. Odo to Ops. Kira here. Ready to transport, Major. Two Lycosians and yourself, direct to security. Affirmative. Energizing. And Ambassador, thank you. Wow. That was nice of Odo to thank us.